world champion here in 2019. A matchup between Romania and Azerbaijan. Maria Stodnik, the 31-year-old matched up against Almilia Alina Vuk. comes Vuk, the 25-year-old. She rallied from a 6-0 deficit in the semifinal to break of Kazakhstan, battled back in the semifinals and won by criteria. A 6-6 criteria win in the semifinals, down in a 6-0 hole. One of the biggest names in the sport, of women's wrestling comes from Azerbaijan, Maria Stadnik. She put up 20 points in her first two matches and then held on for a 6-4 win over Yanin of China in the semifinals. Stadnik, last year's runner-up in Budapest, trying to get a chance to add to her lone gold medal, which was won more than a decade ago. See the, expite, the excitement on Vuk's face, controlled excitement. The battle-tested scars from Stadnik over the past day. You get to this stage, you know it as well as anybody. You get to this stage, you earn it. It is a 48-hour rush <laughs> of both mental fortitude, physical conditioning, and endurance. Yes, absolutely. That mental toughness, it's, it's key right now. Stadnik in the blue, Azerbaijan, the red for Romania and Vuk. Stadnik is coming out early on with that dominant hand control, dominant positioning. She's going to use that two on one, Russian tie. So strong in the forearms and that grip. And you can just tell by watching these two competitors right now, there is a lot of action and a lot of aggression on this match. Red <laughs> more than a minute into this gold medal match at 50 kilos, Azerbaijan and Romania, no score. Vuk was a silver medalist this year at the Medved. She's a two-time European silver medalist. Won a world silver back in 2017. Vuk initiating some contact with a collar tie. Neither wrestler pushing forward all that much. And a shot clock gets put up as a result, and it's tagged to Vuk. Vuk's going to have to shoot. She doesn't want to give up a point. These two wrestlers want to use their hands, use their upper body strength. You can tell they're both comfortable in that realm. Two wrestlers who share the same strength. And the opening point goes to Stadnik on the passivity. So a 1-0 lead for Azerbaijan. Both of these athletes have similar strength and a similar style. So watching them, it's going to be really who's able to get to the angles and start cutting in first. Girls, please. More action. 
And you can even hear the ref saying, hey, more action, right off the shot. Jumps down to two. Couldn't quite finish up maybe a lace, but she will get the gut wrench roll, no points yet. Nicely done underneath by Vuk. She was able to keep it toward the belly side, so Stodnik increases the pressure up above. And Stodnik is so strong right there. You can see that she has that trapped arm gut right into a two. Left arm trap behind. That time, Vuk could not defend. And a 5-0 lead for Stodnik late in this first period. And that is a very loud warning signal to Vuk, which is Stodnik has phenomenal parterre, and if she gets on top, she is going to try her best to turn her. She's going to have to make sure she stays very strong on bottom. Stodnik was able to take that and open, open the lead wide open to 5-0. That's the kind of lead I would like to have going into my 30-second break. Yeah, no doubt about it. Maria Stodnik opening up a little bit of breathing room after three minutes of wrestling, and that has put the 25-year-old Vuk in a little bit of trouble, down 5-0. Trying to capture her first world championship. Well, for Stodnik, she's one of the all-time greats. Gold medal back in 2009 in these world championships. Trying to pick up her sixth world medal. And with moves like this, she might be on her way to doing it. She is so strong and she's able to, when she's in parterre, she goes from a gut to a trapped arm gut. She's so multi-dimensional down there. Just a remarkable career. She's a two-time Olympic silver medalist. When you go back, she has wrestled for so many years at such a high level. She was an Olympic bronze medalist back in 2008, 11 years ago, and still competing at a peak level. And there's really never been a letdown throughout her career. Lots of times you'll see athletes maybe drop off for a year, two, three years, and, and pop back on, especially when they have success at an early age like Stodnik. It's not been the case with her. Comes in and effectively takes down Romania for two more. Right on top of that parterre position where she is so strong. And you can see that she does her gut wrench to the left only to set up a trapped arm gut to the right. Or sorry, a gut wrench to the right to set up the trapped arm to the left. That was how she was able to get the turn in the first period. Blood, blood. That last exchange between the two competitors left Vuk bloodied. What a bitter tongue or her lips. So they're going to try to get that stopped up. They really would like to put a patch to the scoring spree by Stodnik. She's been on a tear really since the tail end of that first period and the early goings of this second period. Okay, continue. 7 0 okay. lead. One of the sport's biggest stars trying to add another chapter to an already loaded book of medals and accomplishments. Vuk has had no answer tonight. Stadnik circling in the center. Knows that she's in control. She comes right at Vuk again and will get a step out for a point. You can see Vuk trying to stay super low yeah. so she doesn't get caught in those doubles anymore. She's almost going down into that knee approach where that right knee is on the mat just to take away the lower half attacks. But the problem is that's tough to score offense when you're in that position. Stodnik's a takedown away from ending it early with a technical superiority win. Luke dropping low, certainly cautious and weary of Stodnik's offense. Luke's going to have to come up with a way to score some big moves quickly. She's got a minute 20 to get eight points. And Vuk knows that Stodnik is just going to come, keep coming. She wrestles for the whole time. 
Steve Book trying to measure out her moves, getting that hand out there to the face. Counter shot by Stodnik coming in. Book does a much better job on this one, able to sprawl back more effectively. She is certainly spooked right now, though. Stodnik has gotten her attention. Here comes Vuk in. These tie-ups have really done nothing for her tonight. I would really like to see Stodnik right there. on. You can see her left arm is on her elbow to start squeezing it and driving it in, clearing those ties. But that's exactly what Vuk should be doing is tying her up because she can shoot from anywhere on that mat if she's close enough. Red, attention, no hitting. Clubbing coming from Book, so she gets hit with a caution. Freestyle different than Greco-Roman in the cautions and the points. Greco-Roman is two. Well, here in freestyle, it's a point for a caution. That lip or tongue continues to give Vuk a problem with the bleeding, so they're going to try to slow that down. With 19 seconds remaining, and Maria Stodnik well on her way. Came so close last year to picking up her second world championship loss to Sasaki of Japan. And the perseverance throughout a career that has spanned more than a decade. And she might earn her second gold medal with a tech fall, and she does. And she does. With an exclamation point at the end. It has been exactly one decade since Maria Stodnik was on top of the world. And here in 2019, a technical superiority win 